Kubernetes is amazing for a selected few of us and then horrible for vast majority of everybody else. And that's the part that I hate. Kubernetes is basically using, in a way, microservice or Linux-based approach that every single type of objects is a separate controller, separate definition, separate CRD or RD. And that makes working amazing because we can combine those very small and specialized pieces until we get exactly what, what we want, right? It's a similar story with AWS, right? There is, they're very fractured, very small, but then we can combine them into something that is absolutely amazing, right? So I like that uh, a bunch of specialized controllers approach and, and, and resource definitions approach of Kubernetes because it allows us to get what, exactly what we want. But that's for 1% of us, 2% of us, right? Vast majority of other people, is just Kubernetes is just silly. It's, it's stupid. I, I, they don't like it because it doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, so let's say Node.js developer. I'm a Node.js developer. I'm writing code. And then uh, I, I, I want that code to become an application running somewhere. Then if you tell me, yeah, you know, uh, there is a deployment and a service and the deployment creates a replica set and replica set creates pods and there is something called virtual service and let me tell you about storage and so on and so forth, that person freaks out because it doesn't make sense. All I want is to have something called application in my cluster and I define application and my code is running as application in that cluster. That's what people want. That's from back, back from the days of uh, Heroku, right? So for, for people who are not dedicated to Kubernetes, Kubernetes doesn't make sense. And, and that brings me to what I hate about Kubernetes. From the early days, Kubernetes started as a baseline on top of which we built something that, that will be the final platform. And we, I don't think that we as industry got there yet. We are, Kubernetes is very good at that base layer. There are a bunch of individual components that can elevate that layer to higher grounds or higher level of abstractions that kind of makes sense, but we're not there yet. My answer to that question, what I hate about Kubernetes is that it is visible. I think that for 98% of the people, Kubernetes should not be visible. It should be similar to hypervisors in hyperscalers, you know, AWS. I don't want to see hypervisors ever again in my life. I just want an EC2 instance, right? And behind the scenes, you go and figure out what needs to be done. And I think that Kubernetes is going in that direction, and then I will not hate that part so much. But so far, Kubernetes is just too complicated for people who just want to run their applications, right? And especially for day two operations for those people.